Ah, draw your knees to your chest and circle them apart away from you together and in. And then search directions. Tummy pulled in, tummy pulled in, not overly tight, but some awareness. And after your next circle, pull both knees to the chest and be respectful as you take notice of, of any pain. If, if anything feels, if anything is torn or injured, you're going to feel it here in the hip flexors, glutes, perhaps knees. Let the shoulders drop and just notice what you're working with. Hold the front of the right shin, send the left foot up and start to flex and point that foot. Warming up that mobility is really important. Notice which is uh, working less well and spend a little more time. Like for some reason, my dorsiflexion, it looks quite limited today. Next time you get to dorsiflexion, hold that. Stretch through the heel and really let the sole of the foot spread, the toes open. Soften the face, the shoulders. Notice any compensatory tightening that you don't need. And then send that leg all the way down and let the hip flexor relax. Pull the right knee in as you smooth down that left side with your hand. Circle the right knee, coming in, helping the body to stabilize, go the other way. Open that knee up to the right and again, iron down that left side as and, and get into that hip, that pelvic bowl and smooth the left side toward the bone to go uh, between the navel and the ASIS, that protruding bone there, and smooth the tissue toward the bone. So toward the left, and just notice if it's sticky anywhere. And then this might wrap around. So take your hand out over the bone and toward the outside and wrap the buttock under. So let's take a whole um, C, like a whole swath there from the navel, go across the bone and wrap the glute under. Do that twice more. And this is at a very superficial surface level. And notice where else just got the message. So I just noticed a huge softening in my shoulders, upper back. So there's some relationship to the tension in the hip and the tension in the shoulders. We know this to be true through anatomy trains, but I just, and meridians and all kinds of different modalities, but I just actually felt it through my own experience. Bring the knee into the center, shift your hips to the right, reach your right arm open as you twist, look over to the right, hook that right shoulder blade down and use your right palm, push it down into the floor. Keeping your face still, move your eyes only toward the back right corner of the room. Look as far back as you can and try to focus. With your left hand, smooth down from your waist to that right hip. To the right outside of that pelvic bowl. And you may be feeling all kinds of things there. Keep stretching your eyes to that back right corner. Keeping your face still now, look at your right hand and right corner, back room, and right hand. Take the right hand down and start to track that. You'll turn the head. As you track the hand, take the arm all the way around. And one more time, down, out in front, all the way overhead and around. As you come to the right, let it pull you to your back 
and draw your knees into your chest. Deep inhale, long exhale. Put the knees together from the belly and circle the knees to the right. Turn the palms up to the ceiling, straight up over the shoulders, and take your hands to the right also in a circle. So circling knees, circling hands. And this is the pace. And then switch directions. Hands going, is that counterclockwise? I can't even tell right now. And knees, no, I guess it's down now. Knees to the left, hands to the left, but you're making a circle. It's a bit swift. And then wrap your hands around your left shin, send your right leg up and start to flex and point, aligning the foot, firming the belly. Notice which is, seems to be working less, the plantar flexion or the dorsiflexion, and just give it a little more attention with the mind. The next time you dorsiflex, hold that. Stretch to the heel, spread the toes, open the foot, melt the shoulders, breathe. Send that leg down, let it grow roots into your floor. Circle the left knee, pin that right side down with a hand and a little soft, gentle ab engagement. Switch direction of the knee. Hold the front of the shin, pull the knee open toward the left. Right hand smooths down that right side. And let's try this on the right side. From the navel, brush the hand to the front of the right hip bone. Like you're smoothing the tissue away from the navel toward the right hip. And now go across the hip and down the outer glute and wrap it under. Use your hand, kind of like you're for me, it feels like I'm making a bed, like I'm taking that sheet out of the side and wrapping it down. Into the midline, shift your hips over to the left, stretch the left arm out, turn your head to the left. Right hand prompts that left hip away from the waist. And again, we're smoothing down from the waist Cross that outer hip, gazes out toward the left. And you may feel some sensation here, aggregating sensation, aggravating sensation, maybe both. Keeping your face still, look to the back left corner of the rim, as far back as you can, stretch the eye muscles. And then back to the hand, back right, back left corner, back to the hand. One more time. And next time you look at the hand, start to circle that arm around the whole body. Track the hand with your eyes and face so your head's going to move. One more time around. Loosening up that shoulder girdle. Reach out to the left. Let it pull you onto your back. And draw the knees into your chest. Reach up toward the feet. Don't strain here. If holding the feet is too far, hold the outer ankles or anywhere along the leg and rock in a gentle, happy baby, pulling down legs toward the chest, feet up toward the sky. Find that really cool resistance. Your elbows are inside the knees and you're pressing out toward the knees and the knees are hugging in. All that counter pressure, pressure and counter pressure. Very effective for strengthening and becoming more flexible in a safe, healthy way. Leave the legs there, slide the hands behind the head, little sit-ups, tailbone and shoulders go up for 10. Feet are actively flexed, seven, six, 
five, try to pull the belly toward the floor each time. Reach the palms up, squeeze the belly down, bring the knees up toward the upper shoulders and squeeze. Push the ceiling away, really try to flatten your palms. Bring those knees in even closer, higher up the arms. Push and relax. Hug your knees in, rock forward and back. And let's take it right to down dog. Stretching the hips up. <sighs> Letting the heels drop toward the floor. Alternate here, bending one knee, pressing the opposite heel down, walking the dog. And then walk it all the way up to meet your hands, bend the knees, catch opposite elbows, turn your head left and right, tummy pulled in, shoulders nice and heavy, decompress from your weak. <sighs> This new moon coming in, toggle your feet all the way together. This new moon in Pisces. Inhale, move the heart forward. Get ready for a lot of feelings. Pisces is a big feeling sign. Exhale, fold forward, drop your head. <sighs> Push down into the earth to rise up. Circle the arms up, palms turn up. Fingers reach to the sky, bend the knees, grab your left wrist, go up and over to the right. Push down into the earth, get that left side long. Look up if you like to that left bicep. Bend the knees, grab the right wrist, inhale up and over to the left, look up to the right biceps. Push down through the floor, lengthening that right side. Bend the knees, inhale, reach up through the arms. Take the hands behind you, interlace them. Open the chest, look up. Stretch the front of the throat, reverse your cell phone neck. Chest nice and open. Soft knee bend as you lay your torso on your thighs, drop your head, wrap those arms. Keep a soft bend in the elbow, bring the pressure into the upper shoulders. Really opening the front of the chest. Tummy is firm. Let the hands fall to the ground. Inhale, look up. And you do want your blocks at the front of the mat, probably for help later or now. Come to the ball of your left foot, knee to the chest. Let's see if we can roll up here. Nice and strong, standing on the right foot. Stand tall, knee up toward the chest. Bend the right knee, we're gonna slowly fold forward, back down. Hands come to the floor or blocks. Lunge your left foot back. Bring your left knee to the mat, come up onto the right toes and let the back of the right thigh try to come to the back of the right calf. Oof. Deep stretch here in that left hip flexor. Counter resistance, pull back on that right groin, right glute. Let's turn, bend your left knee, turn to your left and take your right leg out to the right. You're going to come up onto the um, heel of the right foot or toe of the right foot, and you're gonna circle that right knee. Be careful. We're not used to moving in this direction, maybe. Try to find that rotation there. Move in both directions. And then come up and kneel on that left shin, right foot, arms go straight up and over to your right leg, 
bending. Gate pose, hips are under belly, pulled in, look up to the left. Left hand comes down on the left side, right leg comes up, right arm up and over. So it's kind of like a half moonish thing. Balance. Bend the right knee, put the right foot down, facing the front of the mat, turn back toward the front of the mat. Straighten your front leg, flex that front foot, pull the chest forward. Flex those toes and try to get level in the hips, dragging that right heel back. Point the right toes and flex a couple here, getting some circulation in that lower leg. Bend that right leg, hands come forward, set to plank. Belly strong, shoulder blades on the back, bend the elbows. Inhale, roll the toes over. Exhale back, down dog. Breathe here. I'll be right back. I just gotta get something to clean my mat. Start to alternate walking your dog. And then walk your feet forward all the way to the front of the mat. Inhale, look up, feet are a little wide. Exhale, fold and grab opposite elbow from last time. Bend the knees, turn the head left and right. Oh, letting tension drop out of the spine. Use your exhales. Ah, your voice opening it up, opening up that vessel of communication, that tool, and release your hands, toe heel your feet together. Inhale, bend the knees, heart rolling forward. Exhale, melt down over the legs, press the palms. Inhale, rise, scoop and flow upward. Grab hold of the right wrist, bend the knees, lift up and over toward the right as you look up to the right if you like. Really press that right foot down for that half moon shape. Inhale, up, different type of half moon. Bend the knees, grab the left wrist up and over to the right, look up to the left. Push down through that left leg, left foot. Twist your body just a little left. Bend the knees, inhale, straighten the legs as you look up and back. Sweep the hands behind you. Opposite lacing of the fingers, open that chest up. Bend the knees, lay the trunk on the legs, folding forward, soft bend in the elbows. Bring the resistance into the upper arms. Ah, deep, deep shoulder engagement and chest opener. Oh, dog bashing face. Release pose. Inhale, lift the heart and step back with your right foot. Actually, don't step back. Sorry, my bad. Come up onto the ball of your right foot and you're going to see if you can come up to stand, drawing that right knee up toward the chest. Try to balance here, holding that right knee up in the air, just focus, and then folding forward. Bring the hands down, step that right foot back, lower that right knee all the way to the mat. Come up onto your left toes and see if you can deepen this. Aiming to bring the back of the left thigh to the back of the left calf. And I'm on the ball of my left foot. 
And I'm just letting the hips sink. Counter resistance is pulling that left foot back isometrically. Let it into that right groin or wherever you feel it. Back out slowly, pivot, right heel goes back, left leg goes out to the side. And let's see if we can open up that left hip in this weird way, this sort of spider circles, mobilizing that left femur hip socket mobility. I don't think we get in here much. We do, but not quite like this. Sort of unique, I think. And then stretch that left leg out in line with the right knee. Left foot goes flat, reach both arms up, and then bend over to your left side. Long right side body. You can look up to the right. If that hurts your knee, you can spin the toes up. Right hand comes to the outer side, outside of your right leg. Left leg goes up in the air, left arm up in the air, maybe overhead. Long from foot to hand. Lift that leg, try to hoist it up, tailbone under. Then bend the left knee, turn the foot forward. Cartwell the arms over head and down, facing the front of the mat. Straighten that front leg, flex the toes, pull back. Yeah. Now pull that left heel in, drawing the femur into the hip socket. I like to be at least on fingertips, heart, trying to reach toward the big toe. Firm the muscles in your outer glutes, quads. Ooh Find the muscles in the back of the leg, giving them a nice stretch, rinse, hydrate. So we stay juicy and hopefully don't tear things. Rebend the left knee or any more things. Step back, plank it up. Nice, strong muscle engagement. Shoulder blades down the back, tummy pulled in. Heels pedal forward and back. Getting more vigor, more circulation through the lower leg. Those ankles are really important and difficult to get blood into. And as the heels go back, Adjust the head forward, bend the elbows, tuck them into your sides, roll the chest through, upward dog, thumbs imprint down, roll the hips back, downward dog. Ujjayi breath, breathe through your nose. Releasing carbon. Ribs pulled in. Arms stretched long. Enjoy this bath for your spine. This de-aging, getting all the plaque off the spine, getting all that atrophy, all those cobwebs, getting them off. Inhale, raise the heels, bend the knees, step or jump up to your hands. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, gorgeous, fold forward, melt. Inhale, lift to rise, pushing the balls of the feet down. Make sure they're really glued to the floor. Bend the elbows into a W, open chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, down. Look at your toes and just claw, bare claw with your toes several times here. Claw the floor. This will activate your glutes and this will build power in your arches. Help to stabilize the feet. And the feet are the foundation of everything. And they just, we don't use them properly. And I've noticed, I've, I heard this and I didn't believe it would happen to me because I'm so tend to be pronated, but you start to supinate as you get older. 
It's happening, not in a good way. So we start to roll toward that pinky toes of the foot and then that big toe side isn't really working right. And that screws up everything up. So you really want that nugget of the big toe, that ball mound to push down and be active and have awareness. So open up the soles of the feet, bend the knees, come to chair and lengthen the toes. Reach through your arms. So that feels way easier to me just from that simple foot warm up. Hold forward and let go. Huh. That's interesting. And my toes are spread way better. So that paid off in like two seconds. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, bend that left knee, pick up the left heel. Step your left foot back, let's rise. Crescent, arms up to the sky. Sink those hips down and forward. Counter resistance is pulling back on that right heel. Reach up through the arms. As you exhale, straight arm twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Reach the right hand down the left leg, left arm up by the ear, swizzle stick toward that right heel. Now we're gonna turn it. Hands come down to the left, side lunge, bend that left knee, come on down. Flex that right heel, hips go deeply down toward the floor. Chest rises up. Deep inner right groin. Flex the right quadriceps. Really holding, containing the muscles in the skin. Bend the right knee, crawl forward, face the front of the mat. Lower left knee to ground. Pop that left leg straight. Fold over the right leg. Did I say the wrong leg? Fold, right leg goes straight, fold over the right leg. Let your head drop. Rebend the front knee, shorten your stance, hop that back foot up a bit, put weight into that right foot, left knee to chest, let's roll her up to stand. Left knee up toward the chest, hold the front of the left shin, right arm high. Try to balance here, however you can. Open knee to the left, turn your head and arm out to the right. Look to that right hand. Use your intelligence in your right foot. Bring it back to the center. Both arms up, place your left foot down, sink it down into a chair. Exhale, fold over the legs, drape the torso down. Inhale, look up, pop up onto the ball of your right foot and step your right foot back, roll up, crescent. Inhale, arms up to the sky, hips nice and low. Straight arm twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Turning it. Left hand down to the right leg, Right arm up to the sky. Look over to that back heel. Twist it. Turning to the right. Both hands come down. Bend the right knee. Side lunge. Left toes come up. Dropping it low. Squeeze the sits bones for stability. Squeeze the muscles toward the bone in that leg. Deep inner thigh stretch, groin opener. Bending that left knee, crawling it forward to the front of the mat. Lower the right leg and straighten that left one. Inhale, first lengthen and exhale, fold over your left leg. Pull the hips evenly. Left heel back, right hip forward, tummy pulled in. Rebend the front knee, shorten the stance. See if you can land on the ball of that left foot as you rise up. Hold the front of that right shin, left arm high. Open the knee to the right, turn your head to the left, 
Arm also goes left. Steady. Bring it back to the middle, raise those arms, place that right foot down, sink into chair. Fold forward, let it go. Inhale, look up, hop up to the left ball of the foot, step the left foot back. Inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, hands to the heart, left elbow outside the right leg, prayer twist. Stabilize in the center of the body. Open the arms and twist. Both hands come down, windmill up, warrior two. Reach forward, reverse warrior. Right hand to the inside of the right foot, left arm up and over side angle pose. You can also be on the right thigh, right forearm to thigh, left shoulder open, arm up and over the ear. Push down through that left foot, get that nice long left side stretch. Look down, right hand reaches forward, come on up to a half moon. Push down to the ball of that standing foot. Reach out through that back leg, lift that left arm, ribs tuck in, tailbone long. Standing split, turn toward the leg, drop over. Standing through that left knee. Lunge all the way back. Straightening that front leg. Start to straighten the back leg and go a little deeper toward a careful introduction toward Hanumanasana, two straight legs, but I'm bringing in counter resistance. So I'm not doing anything injurious. Both knees are bent. I'm sucking both legs in toward the hip socket and taking my foot off that brake. So this is the brake pulling in, going out is the gas pedal. And I want a nice sort of combo of drawing in and opening out. But I don't want them at the same time. So I'm gonna pulse, gonna alternate. So foot on the brake, foot on the gas, foot on the brake, Put on the gas. Let yourself down toward the right carefully, manually perhaps, bend that right knee, turn to the front of the mat in a half pigeon, raise your chest up, look up. Folding forward here, relaxing forward over the front leg. Take a few rounds of breath through the nose, letting it all rest on the floor. Taking tension out of the armpits and shoulders. Reaching back to those left toes to get more length on the inner part of the leg. <sighs> Noticing any aggregating sensations. As long as they're not sharp and painful and immediate, they shouldn't be harmful. Just the complaining of an old habit. Send breath there, invite change. Belly pulls in, hands walk in toward the front shin, and you're gonna tuck your left toes under, beam that right leg straight up to the sky, bend the knee, and come to your version of the left dog here, all the way over or some 
some customized way. Reach that right arm back, hips up. Left shoulder strongly planted on your back. Carefully take it over back to your nice strong down dog. Breathing here. Look up to the front of your mat, step your right foot up, draw your left knee into your chest. See if you can roll up to stand. Reach down for your left big toe or hold the knee. Stretch your leg out straight or keep the knee bent. Right arm high. Take the leg or knee to the left. Look over the right. Arm stretched out to the right. Bring it to the front. Let go of the toe, both arms up. Stand to chair. Feet come together, bend both knees, fold forward. Down you go, shake it out. Bend the knees, inhale, pull the heart forward and step your right foot back, roll it up. Crescent lunge, arms up to the sky. Prayer of the palms, right elbow, outside of left leg, twist. Stabilize your center, open the arms up. Inhale, twisting on your exhale. Oof. Look down and morph to warrior two transition, cartwheeling up, reach that left hand forward, Reversing your warrior here. Nice left side body stretch. Left forearm to thigh or hand down on the inside of the foot or block. Right arm overhead. Side angle. Pushing down through that right foot for that deeper stretch. Look forward, right hand to hip, half moon, left hand reaches out in front, up you come. Push down through that left ball of the foot. Look up, flex that right foot, ribs in, tail long. Hoist the sail of that right leg and then turn toward the standing leg. Standing split. Head down, toes up. Reach all the way through that right leg. Woo. Step back, lower the knee. Hanumanasana, slowly straightening that front leg. Maybe you stay there. Or also starting to straighten that back leg. The governor is pulling both legs in toward each other. That's the break. And the gas is releasing that counter resistance and sliding closer toward the floor. So it builds strength and stability, that counter resistance. And when the body feels more trusting, it's willing to go deeper. Tune into your own metrics, your own calibration here. Using that system, figure out or try out different ways, different timing. Maybe you hold a little longer. Fall toward carefully, lower, I should say, to the left. Bend that left knee, come into half pigeon. Walk it up, make sure that everything is safe, the knee, the hip, the low back, lift the chest. I'm flexing through my left foot to keep that knee safe and then fold over. And let everything 
rest. Except for the things that you need to keep active to keep yourself safe. So in my case, I, I say rest, I am resting for me, but my left ankle is super active. Fancy about it. Mm, let the breath move through, especially into the areas that are tight. They're not getting enough circulation. They're not getting enough breath. Things get sticky there. Toxins start to stick there, and it turns into a problem. Everything needs to flow. So where there's tension, there is not flow. And where there isn't flow, there are problems. Walk your hands in, coming up slowly. Tuck your right toes. Then that left leg all the way up. Bend the knee, open up the hip. And this action here is like what we do on our back when I talk about moving the tissue when, we're, when we begin. So we're able to turn that left knee up to the sky and really open the front of the pelvis. So we flip the dog and we have that nice spacious front body. Right shoulder blade on the back, reach back through that left arm. Gorgeous, well done. Carefully bring it back over. And we're going to step, which foot is it? The left foot up to the front of the mat. We're gonna draw that right knee up into the chest and slowly rise to standing, grabbing that right big toe, stretching that right leg out in front, left arm high. Or maybe we hold the knee, pushing down through that left, Big toe ball mound. Take the right leg or knee to the right. Look over to your left shoulder. Keep your breath steady. Mind will follow. Woo. Bring it back to the middle. Raise both arms up. Release your right foot down. Woo. Stand in your chair. Bring your hands to the floor. Knees to the upper arms. If it's okay, a bakasana here. Rolling those feet up to the bum. Lace your heels. Good job. Back on the floor. Malasana. Squeeze your knees into your outer arms. Lift the front of the chest, squatting low here. Bring your hands carefully behind you. Lower your seat, raise your feet, boot, navasana, bent knees, jackknife here, tummy pulled in, raise your chest up, straighten alternate legs, alternately straighten your legs. Like you're pushing gas pedals here. If it's okay for your back, try both at the same time. And in four, three, two, one. Bring it to your lower back. Press that low back into the floor. Lower your shoulders a little closer. Lower your feet a little closer. Keep that low back in. Squeeze the thighs together. Woo, you just hold. Pump your arms, 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower everything down. Raise your arms up and behind you and reach out. X your body, so legs go wide, arms go a little, not too wide. Well, I'm flanked by two dogs, so I can't go too wide, but you feel it what feels right for you and feel that diagonal from your left fingers through your right toes, your right fingers and your left toes, all your toes and all your fingers, where the lines, diagonal lines intersect. Imagine heat there 
right in that X marks the spot, a little tattoo, a little heat, hot poker, pull your navel in there, wherever you are, wherever that line intersects, pull into power and then wrap everything in. Draw arms and knees right into that spot. And I'm taking out my ponytail. From this tiny little curled up place, it's, I don't know why, but easier to go up into shoulder stand. So those legs come right up overhead and you unroll it right up into your shoulder stand. Reaching up through the feet. Be still, let the mind become quiet. Slowly lower those feet down behind you. Knees can be soft here, no pain. Bend the knees, wrap them around your head, whatever version you like here. Elbows to the floor, slow, slow descent into fish pose. I like the hands under the bum, elbows under the body. Arch the back, landing really softly on the crown of the head. Toes extended out forward, tailbone in the direction of the feet, chest toward face and toward the heavens. Push down through the elbows to safely lift off that head. Take your arms out from under there. Grab your head right and gently pull it back. Stargazing right and left. Center the head, drop her down. Just move, keeping the heels steady, flex the toes towards you in a way. It's not really a flexing point, it's more of a jiggle. So I'm like trying to get that spinal wave here, just rocking forward and back, using that foot action, that it's really ankle action to get that movement through the spine. Bend the knees and take the feet right and left. The knees are just like softly bent so they don't strain. And the hands can follow the feet. This is all this gentle cranial sacral rocking. Slow it down and then individually roll the legs in and out. And get centered. Anything else you need, please make whatever adjustments. I'm going to rock the upper body a little bit. Side to side from each shoulder blade. Oh, and then letting that become still. I feel the need to get under my head again. Go into that occiput and my thumbs right at the bone behind the ears. I'm going to press in both those spots. Triple warmer and gallbladder 16. Really good spots for calming the mind. And then I'm going to tap right at the crown of the head, right there. Governor vessel 20. It controls the nerves. It's kind of like the captain of the nerves of everywhere. Nerves of everywhere. Integrating the intrinsic nervous system of the enteric brain, heart brain, and this thing, this head brain. Coordinating those three. 
And then bring your arms down by your side. Take a deep breath in. Sigh out. Two more. Breathe in deeply. Sigh out the exhale. And again. <sighs> and start to let go. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Breathe in deeply. And exhale. Inhale. Stretch your arms back overhead. Exhale and continue to stretch the upper body away from the lower body, reaching the legs out and the arms back. See if you can make even more space now that the body is gummier and the mind is more plastic. Good plastic, not bad plastic. We hope. <laughs> Whatever. Draw that left knee in, roll up to your right side, and now get small in a tight little ball. Don't forget where that hot poker was, engage there, draw that in and in as you get small, compact, breathe into the open spaces. That's where the breath goes. Get into that back body, really fill it up. Fill that whole tank, all corners of it, so it'll last you all day. And then using your left hand or whatever you need to push yourself up to a seat. As you're coming up, finding the strength and security of your sits bones, of your hips and spine is allowed to lengthen fully. Raise the arms up, draw the hands down, and you're inviting in what 
what direction you're going today. Where is your North Star? And can you commit to heading there inside yourself? Life is going to take you on all kinds of twists and turns. That We're powerless over that to some extent. But can you, regardless of the external emotional circumstances, can you keep heading toward your own North Star? One ohm. Lasso that arm in the direct that ohm in the direction you want to go. Send it there. Inhale. Oh. Oh. Humbly bowing the head brain to the wisdom of the heart brain. This is where neuroplasticity gets really important. When we talk about wisdom, we, we don't know, right? Like we only know what we've tested and what we've been told. Wisdom is like a constant, it's like we've earned wisdom, but then we need to be in dialogue with people different from us. We need to be in places other than our own echo chambers to some extent so that we can broaden our wisdom. Otherwise it just gets limited and solid and then I don't know how wise it is anymore. Anyway, inviting the neuroplasticity of the mind to the wisdom of the heart, we bow forward. Sit up top. Go for it, you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, a beautiful week. And as always, it's a tremendous privilege. I'll see you guys next week. I love you. Bye.